वेलकम टू नीरजा एजुकेशन दिस इज क्लास नाइन लेसन नंबर फाइव फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द सेल पर्टिकुलरली प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सेल वॉल दिस इज माई थर्ड वीडियो प्लीज गो थ्रू माई प्रीवियस वीडियो देन ओनली यू विल गेट द कनेक्टिविटी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सेल वॉल वॉट इज मीन बाई सेल वॉल where the cell wall it is present the cell wall is a uh, composed of the cell wall is composed of cellulose it is present in the outermost covering of plant cell compare the animal cell plant cell only having the cell wall animal cell does not have any cell wall so the cell membrane is the outermost covering of animal cell now the cell wall is the outermost covering of plant cell at the same time fungi algae and bacteria also having the cell wall normally how it is look like you just see this picture the outermost yellow color covering is called cell wall this cell wall is made up of cellulose what is cellulose cellulose is nothing but it is a complex carbohydrate so it is a one kind of carbohydrate but it is complex in nature so it is made up of many molecules of glucose so glucose is a simple sugar simple carbohydrate so many uh, glucose molecules are combined it make a cellulose so that is the reason i am telling cellulose is a complex carbohydrate so plant cell wall is made up of cellulose right then fungi cell wall is made up of chitin c h i t i n chitin this also complex carbohydrate then bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan peptidoglycan p e p T I D O G L Y C O N peptidoglycan this also complex carbohydrate algae and plant the cell wall is composed of cellulose now what is the nature of the cell wall the cell wall is non living in nature for example for in previous video we discussed plasma membrane is living in nature but the cell wall is non living in nature at the same time it is very thick and rigid also thick as well as rigid and one more point very important point is the cell wall is fully permeable membrane what is meaning of fully permeable membrane mean it allows all kinds of substances in and out of the cell this is the main character again i repeat children cell wall is the outermost covering of plant fungi algae bacteria it is made up of cellulose cellulose is nothing but a complex carbohydrate and then fungal cell wall is made up of chitin all uh, bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan it is very rigid thick and non living in nature right this is fully permeable membrane next we are going to discuss what is the function of the cell wall main function of the cell wall is it to protect the cell because it is the outermost covering it protect the cell particularly plant algae fungi bacteria these all the cells are protected by cell wall at the same time whenever yesterday we discuss the hypotonic solution please go through my previous video you get an idea S suppose if you are keeping plant cell in a hypotonic solution the water get inside the cell it may be swells so due to swelling chances are there it can breaks so that the cell wall is protect the cell to avoid to break right so that is the main motto for the cell wall at the same time it give the shape to the cell now we are going to discuss on the difference between cell wall and plasma membrane we discuss already what is cell wall what is composed of now we are what is the difference major differences between cell wall as well as plasma membrane as we all know that cell wall is the outermost covering of plants fungi bacteria algae etc at the same time plasma membrane is the outermost covering of animal cell then the cell wall is a non living in nature it is non living in nature plasma membrane is living in nature then cell wall is fully permeable membrane it allows all kinds of substances in and out of the cell but plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane already in my previous video i explained why the plasma membrane is selectively permeable membrane please go through my previous video you get an idea next one is cell wall is rigid and thick in nature but 
this plasma membrane is delicate thin as well as flexible also right then cell wall is made up of cellulose cellulose is a complex carbohydrate but plasma membrane is made up of two substances one is lipid another one is protein a semi solid liquid present inside the cell that liquid the semi solid liquid is called cytoplasm the cytoplasm present in between the nucleus and plasma membrane you just see the image this is nucleus this is plasma membrane that is a cell membrane in between the area this cytoplasm is present the cytoplasm is a semi solid in nature at the same time it is little viscous also what is mean by viscous means it is like little sticky also when we touch honey we feel some sticky appearance you no know? that type of appearance it gives so fluid inside the cell enclosed by the cell membrane is called cytoplasm it is little viscous little viscous means little sticky in nature the, what is composed of the cytoplasm means the semi solid fluid is made up of 80% of water 20% of remaining substances like carbohydrate protein fat vitamins minerals etc so almost 80% of water 20% of protein carbohydrate lipids everything is present and another one is this cytoplasm contain many cell organelles embedded in cytoplasm what is mean by cell organelle means a small organ like structure present in the cytoplasm in detail we will discuss cell organelle in next video at the same time the cytoplasm is also called cytosol what is mean by cytosol means cyto is nothing but cell that is sol means it solvent that is a solution which is a semi solid content which present inside right next we are going to discuss on cytoplasm and its role what is the use of the cytoplasm mainly the cytoplasm is act as a good transporter because it transport the material from outside the cell to inside the cell and into out so that is a main transportation occur by the help of occurs by the help of the cytoplasm only second point is all the cellular all the metabolic activities occurs on the cytoplasm for example cellular respiration or excretion all kinds of cellular activities occurs in the cytoplasm only this is the two functions of the cytoplasm one is transportation another one is all cellular metabolic activities occurs on the cytoplasm i hope you have understood thank you have a nice day